Tokyo, the capital of Japan, a vast city that is home to 13 million people. We're inside a railway station. There's an amazing variety of shops and restaurants, and the place is bustling with people. It's really pretty here. It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Big, <laughs> very big. big. <laughs> Seems uh, busy, <laughs> really busy. It's amazing, amazing, yes, amazing. This is Tokyo Station, the gateway to the capital. Inside, it has about 170 shops and restaurants. You won't see many complexes like this one anywhere in the world. About 800,000 people use Tokyo Station in a day. Tokyo Station is a huge terminal. It has the largest number of platforms in Japan. There are 14 island platforms serving 28 tracks, including those for the Shinkansen high-speed trains. 2014 marks the centenary of Tokyo Station. It forms a large town in itself that is referred to as Tokyo Station City. It's the face of Japan, attracting attention from abroad. Construction of Tokyo Station began early in the 20th century. It was to be the central station for the capital of the modernizing nation. Tokyo Station opened 100 years ago on December 20, 1914. Tokyo Station is housed in the Marunouchi Building. The third-story steel-framed brick building was designed by one of Japan's most famous architects at the time, Kingo Tatsuno. It was an imposing building with raised domes on each end, which were decorated inside with reliefs of eagles. In 1923, Tokyo was ravaged by the Great Kanto Earthquake. 110,000 people died. Tokyo Station, however, miraculously survived, testifying to the excellence of Kingo Tatsuno's design. In May 1945, during the closing months of the Pacific War, Tokyo Station was hit in a US air raid that destroyed its signature domes. Repair work on the station was completed in 1947. There were now only two stories instead of three. Japan experienced dazzling economic growth after the war. 1964 saw the inauguration of the Tokaido Shinkansen service for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Tokyo Station was the starting point for these high-speed trains that buttressed the nation's growth. More and more lines commencing from Tokyo Station have been added over the years. It has evolved into Japan's central station. With the advent of the 21st century, work started on restoring Tokyo Station to its original appearance. Work was carried out to provide a faithful restoration of the red brick walls, the roof domes, and other features of the Marunouchi building. The latest earthquake proofing technologies were also incorporated. The work on the Marunouchi building was completed in October 2012. It restored the grandeur that existed 100 years ago, and there were new elements as well. Shiro Ojida was involved in the restoration work by the East Japan Railway Company that took 12 years to complete. 
The major task was trying to achieve a faithful restoration, trying to restore the building to its original appearance when we actually had very little literature to work with. We produced a considerable amount of Japanese-style motifs for the inside of the domes that were restored with the building's exterior. It was something that the architect Kingo Tatsuno had intended. It's the most impressive thing which I hope foreign visitors will look at. Tokyo Station also looks considerably different inside. This area was originally just a passageway. Smart and varied commercial complexes have been built. The shopping areas inside railway stations in Japan are commonly referred to as ekinaka, a Japanese term which literally means inside the station. Tokyo Station has two major exits. The Marunouchi exit on the western side and the Yaesu exit on the eastern side. Grand Sta was the first of the Ekinaka complexes. It was created to make maximum use of the space between these two exits. Tetsudo Kaikan's Tetsuo Nozaki has been responsible for the development of the Ekinaka complexes inside Tokyo Station. He's the father, as it were, of Grand Sta. First of all, we had this big idea of creating what we call Tokyo Station City. That was the premise for this major development. We wanted to provide a place where people could find items associated with Tokyo, the best in terms of omotase, or souvenirs, a place that offers sincere service which foreign visitors can also appreciate, a place where you can seek the genuine article. When it came to space, we wanted to create an environment of the kind not seen at any other railway station. It is distinguished, I think, by the consideration that went into so many things. The Marunouchi area to the west of Tokyo Station has been home to the head offices of many leading Japanese firms for more than a century when the nation was on the path to modernization. This area was developed at the turn of the 21st century. New commercial complexes were built. This area alone has more than 800 stores. The Victorian-style Mitsubishi No. 1 building. It was the first structure of note in the Marunouchi area in the late 19th century. The building was later demolished, but another structure faithful to the original was completed in 2009. It currently houses the Mitsubishi Ichigokan Museum. The JP Tower is an office building completed in 2012. It was originally the site of the Tokyo Central Post Office, part of which has been preserved. The large commercial complex in the JP Tower is called Kitte, which is the Japanese word for postage stamp. The Tokyo Central Post Office is very much associated with Tokyo Station. A special line running for a distance of 200 meters connecting the two was built in 1915, the year after Tokyo Station opened. Electric locomotives hauled mail vans on it. Let's look at the Yaesu and Nihonbashi areas east of Tokyo Station. The area is a commercial and financial center. It's the home to major department stores and other commercial complexes, as well as a large number of major financial institutions, such as the Bank of Japan and the Tokyo Stock Exchange. This area is also being redeveloped the Koredo Nihonbashi high-rise development opened in 2004. A number of major commercial complexes and office buildings have since been constructed, including Koredo Muromachi 2 and 3, which opened in 2014. The areas outside Tokyo Station, referred to as Ekisoto, are also being transformed. Ekisoto literally means outside the station. The area as a whole is thriving and Tokyo Station is playing a much more important role. A 
lot of foreign visitors also pass through Tokyo Station. It's the center for omotenashi, a Japanese term that means to extend a warm welcome. The station is arranged like a town, referred to as Tokyo Station City. Let's take a look at Tokyo Station City. The Marunouchi Building on the western side of Tokyo Station. The Tokyo Station Hotel, offering European-style accommodation, opened inside the Marunouchi Building in 1915, the year after the station opened. It was refurbished in 2012, in conjunction with the restoration of the Marunouchi Building. The hotel offers relaxation and refinement. The main bar offers the Tokyo Station cocktail, which calls to mind the red bricks of the Marunouchi Building. The Tokyo Station Gallery is situated right next to the ticket gates. The signature red brick walls symbolize the history of Tokyo Station. The gallery inside the station is popular. It was created out of a desire to make Tokyo Station a place of cultural refinement. The JR East Travel Service Center offers reliable service to foreign visitors. The JR East Travel Service Center is your one-stop place for all kinds of things, such as picking up Japan rail passes, buying JR tickets, making reservations for hotels and inns, luggage porters and luggage delivery, ATM services, and currency exchange. We can respond to customers' inquiries in Japanese, English, Chinese, and Korean during operating hours. We have served more than 100,000 people in this past year. Okay, I think they're, they're very helpful. Um, they're, they're, their English is very good, so that's very helpful. Um, um, yeah, just generally very good. Gramsta is on the underground level one inside Tokyo Station. It's a leading Ikinaka complex, housing more than 60 distinctive shops. Tonkatsu Maisen specializes in tonkatsu, or deep-fried pork cutlets. The three-tier bento, or boxed meals exclusive to Tokyo Station, are a noteworthy item on the menu. They were inspired by the restoration of the original three stories in the Marunouchi building. Asakusa Imahan is a long-established restaurant chain specializing in the familiar Japanese dish of sukiyaki. It's been in business since 1895. This sukiyaki bento is exclusive to Tokyo Station. It's a truly deluxe bento consisting of carefully selected wagyu from the Japanese black breed that's been flavored according to the restaurant's own secret original recipe. Mami Gui sells convenient and endearing handkerchief-sized versions of the Japanese printed cotton towels referred to as tenugui. There are always about 200 varieties of these small towels on offer. Gift sets consisting of small towel, boiled sweets, bite-sized rice crackers and tea are popular. Mamiya Kanazawa Bankyu is popular among adults as a purveyor of sweets featuring beans. The Tokyo Asobi gift boxes are available only at Tokyo Station. The boxes depict the restored Tokyo Station and some pandas that are touring the sites of Tokyo. And they contain sweet rice crackers flavored with roasted soybean flour and chocolate. Kyo Hayashiya is a truly old established business. It was founded 260 years ago in Kyoto, the nation's former capital. It offers a large range of sweets featuring quality Japanese tea, including this parfait made with matcha tea and anmitsu jelly, exclusive to Tokyo Station. 
it also has a cloakroom service where people can leave their luggage and take their time shopping and dining. And door-to-door -door delivery services are available to forward on luggage. Station Concierge Tokyo has staff fluent in English. They can provide a range of detailed information on rail services and facilities in the station, as well as details about various events and travel across Japan. Another bonus for foreign travelers is the foreign exchange counter. Grand Star Dining is in the north court on the first floor inside Tokyo Station. Grand Star Dining has 16 restaurants. Most were established in collaboration with famous traditional Japanese-style, Chinese, and Italian-style restaurants. Sushi is almost a byword for Japanese cuisine. Tsukiji Sushi Se is a chain of sushi restaurants that began in 1889. It also has a restaurant inside Tokyo Station. Skilled sushi chefs will prepare fresh sushi before your eyes. We provide fresh and authentic Edo-style sushi. We also get many foreign visitors eating at our restaurant. They tend to like tuna, salmon, and prawns. Tokyo Dog. A glimpse at the showcase reveals a rich and varied range. The customer is spoiled for choice. There are hot dogs exclusive to Tokyo Station, as well as all kinds of sweets. Awaya Sobe has been in business for more than 60 years, providing its own take on traditional Japanese-style sweets. This sweet Tokyo Ekisha Monaka is shaped like the station. It's available only at Tokyo Station. Central Street is on the first floor inside Tokyo Station. The concept for this area is called Link Japan. It has various shops to make for a pleasant journey. They try to establish bonds between people, central Tokyo, and other parts of Japan. Tokyo Hiyaka sells all of the things you need for a journey, such as bento, sandwiches, medicines, and other miscellaneous items. Tokyo Banana is the biggest selling item in our store at Tokyo Station. It's also quite popular among foreign customers. Tokyo Banana isn't a banana, but a sponge cake containing mashed banana and custard. Ekiben, the boxed meals sold at railway stations and often eaten on the train while savoring the view, are quite popular among the Japanese. Ekibenya Matsuri offers a selection of more than 170 different types of ekiben, including famous versions from around Japan, the store's own original versions, and versions that are available only at certain times of the year. There are also freshly made ekiben prepared in the see-through kitchen. It's a colorful and lively place. Ekuto Tokyo is situated in the south court on the first floor inside Tokyo Station. The idea here is to set new standards for Japan. There are numerous quality items of which Japan can be internationally proud. Sweets Atelier Tokyo no Hatakekara makes a selection of French-inspired sweets mostly featuring sweet potatoes grown in Tokyo. Yaki Imo Sable are nice, crunchy, sweet potato-flavored shortbread biscuits baked with a topping of mashed sweet potatoes. A lot of vegetable plots in Tokyo aren't being tilled. We want to work those plots, work with others to plant them, and make products from the resulting sweet potatoes. Keio Street is on the first floor inside Tokyo Station. 
This area has 25 distinctive shops arranged on the concept of Tokyo Green Style, offering things that are friendly to the mind and body. There are a range of different items to suit all kinds of scenes, including sweets that are the talk of the town, bento meals, and distinctive miscellaneous goods. Tea's Tonton -ton is a vegetarian restaurant that doesn't use meat, fish, dairy, or any other animal products. It offers a range of original dishes, including its richly flavored tantan noodles. This restaurant serves great food. I came here because I'm a vegetarian. Very good. We, we really like it. It's very, it's very clean, clean and it's very big and it's very easy to navigate. Tokyo Station has a splendid exterior and is imbued with Japan's spirit of omotenashi. Let's see how the station is kept beautiful. It's 1.30 in the morning. A total of 30 cleaners attend to the inside of the station in the interval between the last train services at nighttime and the first ones in the morning. A total of 140 people are involved in the cleaning of Tokyo Station in the course of a day, every day, keeping it beautiful. Tokyo Station is a starting point for Shinkansen services. The cleaning has started. The turnaround time for a Shinkansen train from when it arrives at Tokyo Station and then leaves again is only 12 minutes. Three minutes are required for passengers to get off the train and two minutes are set aside for passengers to board it, which means there are only seven minutes to clean the carriages. The staff go about their work quickly and efficiently in those seven minutes, cleaning the passenger cars and toilets, emptying the refuse bins, and so on. They do a careful job, the fastest cleaning job in the world. We want to keep the carriages clean and avoid any complaints from passengers. We make a point of removing any rubbish left in the carriages, including any little bits of refuse on the seats, and also cleaning the windows of any smudges left by the fingers of children or adults. And we also check to see that there have been no beverage stains. We strive to ensure a pleasant journey for the passengers. With the advent of the 21st century, Tokyo Station has sought to develop ties with stations in Europe and North America. In 2006, Tokyo Station became a sister station with Amsterdam Central in the Netherlands, which has a similar red brick construction to the Madunoji building. New York Grand Central Terminal opened in 1913, the year before Tokyo Station. The two became sister stations in 2013. Tokyo Station now has other centers outside the Ekinaka facilities. Sampia Tower has 35 stories and four underground levels. Grand Tokyo North Tower has 43 stories and four underground levels, which also house a department store. Grand Tokyo South Tower has been completed with 42 stories and four underground levels. Grand Roof connects the North and South Towers. It's a vast 230 meter long roof in the shape of a sail of light. The pedestrian deck is a new landmark for the Yaesu exit of Tokyo Station. Many famous restaurants have set up outlets in Grand Roof, including the French Chakaiseki Kyoto Fukujuen Tea Room. And 
Yamagata Dining, Yamagata Sakanaichi. There are a number of good restaurants that make use of the produce from different parts of Japan. Tokyo Station is the face of Tokyo, the face of Japan, a place that has been in the affections of people around the world. Steps are being taken for the next 100 years. The Ueno Tokyo Line will enter service in March 2015. It will connect Tokyo with Ueno, which is the starting point for three other lines serving the northern part of the Tokyo area. This single line will connect the northern and southern parts of the metropolitan area. And March 2015 will also see the inauguration of the Hokuriku Shinkansen high-speed rail service. The new service will connect Tokyo with Kanazawa in the Hokuriku region in about two and a half hours. Moreover, the spring of 2016 will see the Tohoku Shinkansen line extended from Shin Aomori Station to Shin Hakodate Hokuto Station. I think it's of great historic significance that Tokyo Station has been able to reach this landmark year, the year marking its centenary, in its original form. I believe that Tokyo Station holds a very important place among all of the railway stations in the world. We also have new, modern Ekinaka complexes inside this historic place. I very much hope that you will come and experience Tokyo Station which is a city in itself in Tokyo, Japan's capital. We look forward to seeing you. Tokyo Station is the face of the capital, Tokyo. It has warmly welcomed people from around the world. What do you think of the station? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> very busy, really big and very busy. It's incredible. I, and the facilities that are available here are really impressive. Tokyo Station will be the main gateway for Tokyo when the city hosts the Olympic Games a second time in 2020. It is moving ahead with people around the world with the next 100 years in sight, changing and evolving into a more convenient and beautiful place.